Alright, so this will be my first video for YouTube. Uh, hopefully everything has gone well. Uh, I was the 2500 subscriber winner um, from IDR, Intelligent Design Reptiles. Uh, Logan sent me the female spider. So we're going to go ahead and open her up. Get her out of this box and see how everything is. Our business card, so we guys can read that. Intelligent design reptiles. Bread. Here's the back side. Pretty cool business card. Got the mad scientist on it. Congrats on winning the 2500 giveaway. Thanks for all the support. IDR. Heat pack still nice and warm. Still nice and warm in the box. Let's see how this little girl's doing. Right? Tiny little girl. Here she is. Let's see if we can get her to come out. She's nice and warm still. Not too bad. Good job on the packaging. She looks uh pretty good. Let's see. Get her head to come out. There's a little bit of it. See that headstand? She's got some nice colors in her belly. I don't know if this camera is going to pick them up or not. But we're going to try. Pretty good colors. Some pinks and oranges. What are you doing? There it is. Pretty cool head stamp on her. So we'll get her put up in the quarantine rack, let her settle in for a few days, maybe offer her some food. There wasn't a food card yet, but I haven't gone through the whole box yet, so let her get all nice and comfy again. Alright, so that's snake number one. Just checking the box to make sure there's no food card in here. Let me know when she ate last or um, what they're actually feeding her, whether it's pinkies, mice, or rats. Sometimes snakes can be pretty picky. Sorry about that. That's the styrofoam. Uh, and they tend to eat just the just rats or just pinky mice or they kind of have a preference. Some of them are very picky, some of them not too bad. 
Um, but there is no feeding card in there letting me know when she ate last or what she's eating. So I'll have to hit them up for that. Uh, this next box is quite a bit larger, about double size. This is from Dynasty Reptiles. I ordered a female banana to go with my male banana. Um, so let's get into this one and see what this is. How she's doing, how the packaging was. It's taped good. This is to add to my collection. Uh, I got a pretty good collection going now. Hopefully we can get some nice uh, pairs this season. Um, the 2017-2018 season's not good for me. Uh, my largest female is only 1,000 grams, and that's my Pastavi, which is a pastel female. And so there won't be any breeding just yet. So this is the food card. It's kind of hoping Logan would have. Um, it actually has her date of birth on it as well. Uh, last time she was fed was 216. And she took a medium mouse. So I'll see if she eats again on next day or two actually I like to try every four days on my females um, some take every four days and some are um, where they take every four days but they'll miss one a week so then that week they only ate once instead of twice this kind of helps uh, power grow them I guess so it's a powerhouse feeder uh, just to get them bigger for the season healthier more more uh more weight so when they do breed and lose that weight um they're not as bad off so i'll, I'll try feeding her probably friday if not friday definitely saturday because i feed everything on saturday uh so we'll move on from this which is very nice to have um, no business card on top. Looks like they zip tie the bag, so that's going to be fun. Get this up nice and warm still. I'm not sure all the heat packs down here. Still good and warm. Alive still, so that's a good sign. Let's uh, cut this zip tie. I don't like people that use zip ties, it's such a pain. Try not to hurt the snake and get through it, it's just a pain. Find a better spot to get into it. Hopefully this video turns out good. It's the first one I've done. Uh, it's not the greatest camera. So, quality may not be that great. I may need to grab my scissors for this. This is why I do not like zip ties. grab my scissors real quick all right here we go oh, all right 
through the zip tie. I'm um, pretty sure I didn't see anything else in the bag. Sorry, box. I haven't gotten to the bag yet. So. Oh yeah, she's pretty. Good looking. There she is. A little bit on the cold side. A little bit colder than the last. The one I got from Logan. From my giveaway snake. Uh, but she's in a bigger box with only one heat pack. So she came from Florida. Pretty good looking. Hopefully this camera is bringing up all the pretty really good yellows and purples she's got some nice colors you only had three uh, to choose from and I have had a very very tough time finding a female to breed to my male she's got some freckles coming in already um, my guess is she's probably around I don't know, she feels pretty good. She looks big. My guess is in the 180s. She looks bigger than what she weighs. So she's a medium mice. Let's put her down here. Maybe you can see a better contrast of the colors on her from my table. that see all beautiful yellows and really bright yellows through the sides kind of lightens out on the top back to the bright yellow some whites down inside beautiful purples some freckling coming in already this is going to go to my male when she gets big enough banana Really pretty, beautiful snake. Thank you, Logan. Uh, I appreciate the snake. Um, I enjoy watching your videos, and it's fun. And thank you, Dynasty Reptiles. This is a beautiful female banana ball python. I'll double set, check the sex on her once I get her set up and comfortable and not so tense and more more comfortable with her environment beautiful snake though beautiful banana can't wait to breed her with my male it's gorgeous gorgeous snake going under the desk don't do that there's a beautiful stamp Pretty cool yellow stamp on the right in the center of her head, and then pretty close to the front. There's a nice little pitchfork or something. I'm not sure what I would call that. It's almost white. Uh, it actually looks scaleless, like a scaleless head would. I'm not saying she is by any means, but that mark, that's what that reminds me of. You can really see it. She keeps turning the opposite direction with my camera lens. See that right there? All that nice white right on the top of her head. From a distance, it looks like a scaleless head. That's not what it is, I'm sure. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sold it as a banana out there. They've been around the block. They know they know what they're doing. It's not. They're not going to sell me a scaleless head banana female for just a banana female. That's not. 
something I can see them making a mistake on. So anyway, I'm just ranting about this two beautiful new snakes I just got. Let me get her in her tub and set up. Well, temporary tubs. It's not their permanent homes. Um, let's do some weight. Let's get some weights on these girls while we're while we're at it. Not gonna hurt, right? All right. We're gonna turn the scale on here. There we go. So the scale has a blue lidded tub on it to zero it out. So as you can see, when I take it off, it says that there's. Well, it doesn't say any weight because it's missing this. As soon as this goes back on, it's going to give me the, the weight. So, the snakes are in identical tubs to the one that's on here and have it zeroed out in. So I can just put them right on there. So the female spider is 122 grams. Not too bad. And the female banana in this tub... Well, it's a little off. 206. Not too bad. 208. Alright, so we're going to be adding those to our collection. Um, this is basically my tub setups. And then they get lids or slit, slit in their racks. Uh, water dish and I use uh, PVC couplings to hold the uh, 16 ounce deli cups. Um, then they can't knock over the water and it allows them to get in the water if they want. I actually have a Mojave male that likes to spend a lot of time in his water dish. We're going to take a look at this banana here. That is my male banana. Doing pretty good. Uh, broke 600 grams this week. Water dish, you can see. Let's see if we can get a picture of his head there. It's a beautiful, beautiful morph. I love the bananas. Anything yellow, purple, lavenders. I don't know what it is about them, but I really enjoyed them. Um, I guess we'll... Cut the video there, as far as the snakes. Um, I'm going to start this channel with this first video. And as we progress, I'll do more stuffs about my... More stuffs. <laughs> more stuff about the snakes I have. Um, and try to do uh, giveaways... Uh, we'll probably start the giveaways with um, maybe snake racks I build. I do build snake racks, uh, PVC snake racks, um, and then as we start getting higher into the, farther up into the subscribers, I will be doing snake giveaways. She's going to come check out the camera. Such a beautiful snake. Beautiful. Bring her back out. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't get over how beautiful she is. Keep sidetracking with it. So this will be a new channel. Um, we'll probably, don't quote me on it, but probably do a giveaway at around uh, 300 subscribers. 
and then the 500 subscribers and maybe the 800 subscribers and a thousand subscribers and like I said don't quote me on it it's just something that I'm mulling through the head trying to figure out how I want to do it um, definitely gonna do giveaways though that light through the window kind of messes up the view of these beautiful snakes spider from Logan beautiful beautiful snake banana from Dennis dynasty reptiles another beautiful snake Ooh, it's a good light this way this is not their permanent tubs it's not even their quarantine tubs it was just the tubs for weighing them out getting their weight up there's the spider starting to look better with the light coming through the video all right so we're at 21 minutes on the video I'm gonna kill it here uh, do the editing and hopefully get this posted like I said first video probably not gonna be the best but it is the first so gotta start somewhere thanks for everybody who's watching hit that subscribe button make sure you check that uh, little little bell next to the sub subscribe button if I could speak and then you'll get notifications every time I put a video up hope you enjoyed this we'll see you next time